Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Tech Gamers World. In this video, I'm going to show you a quick and easy hands-on demonstration on how to replace the thumb grips on your Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons. So before we start, as always, if you could please click that like button, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you enable notifications. That would be totally awesome. Okay, so here we have a non-OLED Nintendo Switch. Now, this Nintendo Switch is from 2019, and as you can see, it has some miles on it. If you take a look at the screen, and you know, it's got your scratching, you can see that the Joy-Cons are kind of discolored from use. And as you can see by looking at the thumb grips, they have seen some days. They're kind of worn. This one's not so bad, just worn and dirty. So, you have a couple options when it comes to replacing thumb grips on a Joy-Con. There is Joy-Cons thumb grips that just replace the existing ones. You can get covers for the existing ones. I find that the easiest way to fix up your Nintendo Switch thumb grips is just to get covers for the existing thumb grips. But in this video, I'm gonna demonstrate for you how you can take the thumb grip covers off and put them back on or install new ones and just install third-party non-OEM covers. So let's do a quick demonstration here on how to take off the thumb grip. So the thumb grips are not glued on from Nintendo. They're just stuck in there. There's little teeth inside that fit into a bunch of holes in the thumb grip. So let's go ahead here and peel this back. Now to do that, you want to very gently stick your finger underneath and peel back on the rubber. As you can see, it's moving, and you're just gonna apply some pressure and pull off the thumb grip cover. Now, as you can see here, as there's those teeth I was telling you about. A bunch of just little rubber grooves, call them teeth. And if you look closely at the thumb grip, the Joy-Con controller, I'm sorry, you'll see that there are those grooves. The grooves in here fit into here. Now, if you're going to replace the thumb grip, you wanna make sure the one you buy has these little grooves and that the little grooves fit into the teeth spots here because if you don't, it could move around. So let's go ahead here and install a brand new one. So here is a brand new, never used thumb grip. So to install it, you're basically just going to line up where the teeth are, which is right there, and stretch it over all four sides. Now, you'll see how quick and easy that was to install it. And we have basically a brand new thumb grip installed. It was that simple to do. Now, if you wanna dress up your Nintendo Switch, make it a little different, make it more unique to your taste, they make thumb grip covers. Now I've got two here. These are some little bear print thumb grip covers. Now what these are, are these are non-Nintendo. These are third party branded thumb grip covers. Now as you can see, you can tell it's a cover by if you flip it over, what don't you see? Any of those grooves. And you can see where there's a notch inside here, I'll peel it back, for the thumb print and the Joy-Con controller to slip over. You're gonna slip it over the existing thumbprint cover. If you get these, do not take the thumbprint cover off and put these on because they will just move around. They won't actually fit without the thumbprint cover, the existing one on. These are just meant to dress up the Nintendo Switch a little bit and actually give you a little bit of a bigger footprint for your finger to sit on. So let's go ahead and install these. Now to install them, it's very simple. You just put them on and stretch them over. And you'll know when they're on, when they get a nice tight grip around the thumbprint here, the Joy-Con controller. A little bit of a pain to install. You have to kind of stretch it over. There we go. So that's one. And you'll know it's on when you can see all around 
that it's around the existing one and it's nice and tight. So let's go ahead now and install this one. Stretch it over. Now you want to be super careful when you're doing this not to push too hard on the Joy-Con controllers because as we all know, those who've used Nintendo Switch for any part of the last five years, Nintendo sacrificed build quality for saving money on their production of the Joy-Cons. Uh, these controllers are very cheaply made, unfortunately, and do tend to suffer from what's called Joy-Con drift, which if you've seen some of my other videos has been talked about as to why that occurs. I don't have to go into that in this video. But as you can see, we've gone ahead here and installed these Joy-Con thumb grip covers. So I showed you how to take off the existing thumb grip, thumb grips, install new ones, and install third-party non-OEM Nintendo um, thumb grip covers here. And I think these dress up the Nintendo Switch a little bit. And if you've got a young child who really likes the way it looks, you can customize and get all kinds of these all over the internet, and they're so inexpensive. I think these were $2 from some Amazon uh, store that I got. So that's it. Um, I hope everybody enjoyed this video. If anyone has any questions or comments, please drop a comment in this video, and I will do my best to get it answered and help you out in any way I can. As always, please click that like button, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you enable notifications because I'm going to have new and exciting content coming soon. Thanks a lot, everybody. Have a great day and keep on gaming.